this is Steve Faisan here, and I wanted to congratulate you about um, kind of recognizing your own body and looking for more raw natural foods. Um, I just wanted to suggest that you check out Eating Right for Your Blood Type. Um, actually, I talk a lot about it in my blog, and I have a complete list of all the foods by blood type, which are super beneficial and the ones generally to avoid. Because even though you're eating raw and healthy, certain foods aren't always the best for type A's, um, like bananas. I'm assuming that you're type A just because you don't really thrive on the higher protein, which is something I, as a type O, thrive on. Um, more animal protein, actually, red meat. And as much as I didn't want to do that, my body responded very favorably. And I don't necessarily want to eat raw meat, but I, my health's more important than an animal. So uh, that's kind of what I'm focused on. But if you're an A, you thrive more on a fish, chicken, and again, raw vegetable diet. Um, everything I've read, especially with the Abraham teachings and the food, they said the more raw natural you eat, um, and that doesn't really necessarily even include grains, but the more raw natural you eat, um, your cells don't have to, your cells go out of balance the more cooked and stimulating a food is. So your cells takes a little bit longer and more energy, it takes more energy for your cells to get back into balance after being exposed to hyper-stimulating cooked foods. So more natural foods are easy, easier on the digestive system, have all the enzymes and your cells don't really go out of balance. So that that's extra energy for you. And the idea is also, I have a whole big article about why calories don't matter and sometimes people thrive on just eating once or twice a day and and this constant snacking that um, a lot of Americans do is actually very unhealthy and just you know taking certain times to eat and then being done with it and just having water or green tea or something in between is ideal um, in Europe, I know that they have restaurants closed down, don't they? They don't actually stay open all the time, unless you're in the touristy areas, so you can't constantly snack. Um, I don't know how it is now, but I remember when I went to Europe, I always felt hungry because I was so used to eating all the time, and eating these huge portions, where I know the Europeans, the French, and the British, they don't have they're not eating all day. They just close down for at least four to five hours between meals. So uh, that's really interesting, I find. So I congratulate you on finding great balance in the food you're eating. And it's definitely, when you eat the correct foods, this is a consciousness raising experience. Um, you, you're not burdening the body with overstimulating or overcooked dead food. And I agree with that. Um, I also agree with eating raw meat, but that's a whole other issue, and that's not for you anyway, uh, as a type A person, uh, blood type A that is, not personality type, but blood type. Um, so if you want to know more, just check out my blog or respond to the video and we'll talk. Uh, I'll be glad to give you, you know, I, that's what I do, I give free advice to everyone. I've done a lot of research, um, and a lot of the conventional wisdom out there is just not true. So I'd like to hopefully, uh, show you a little bit more about how you can raise your consciousness through your diet. So we'll talk. All right. Bye-bye.